Hey mama, I'm Ashley, and this is the Maverick Mompreneur Podcast, where you're free and encouraged to own your desire to create and scale an impactful, discoverable online brand and business in the midst of motherhood, a business that's aligned with your mission, lifestyle desires, personality, and zone of genius without wasting your time on the hustle and grind hamster wheel that is social media. Can I get an amen? Sis, you are a maverick, an original, willing to stand out in your authenticity, defy expectations, and do life and business outside the box. In our world, if it's not aligned with who we are, it's a hard pass or a brave pivot. So if you're here for the powerful identity shift and transformation from boss babe or boss mom to aligned CEO, building a -a one-of-a-kind, influential, hustle-free online business that will produce long-term impact and multiple streams of income through SEO, affiliate marketing, and courses while building yourself in the process, Well, pop in those AirPods, grab that cup of coffee or glass of wine, and let's get growing. Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 101 of the Maverick Mompreneur podcast. I'm your host, Ashley, and I am so glad you're here. If this is your very first time listening, welcome, welcome. And if you have been waiting while I've been on a podcast hiatus, I am so glad that you're back here with me. It feels so great to be back in my podcast studio, aka the closet of my office where the acoustics are best. And today's episode is a a really, really special one as we are going to be diving into the very powerful practice of choosing a word of the year for 2024. This is something that I have been doing since 2018. And if you've been in my world for a while, you already know I am obsessed with this practice. And I'm so excited to share with you not only my own word of the year, but why choose a word of the year and how to use it to really anchor your desires and goals for the entire year in all the things. And truthfully, I intended to record this episode much earlier in December, and this is part of why I've taken a break until now, but I literally did not know what my word of the year was going to be until last week, and I was getting really frustrated. I shared on my Instagram stories that I was getting kind of frustrated because normally at mid-December, I definitely know what my word of the year is, but I didn't want to force it, but I now know what it is. I can't wait to share it with you in this episode. And so let's get into chatting about why choose a word of the year for your new year. But before we jump into our content for today, I want to make sure that I share something important for those of you female entrepreneurs who really want to build a solid brand and business strategy foundation in this coming year. This is the last chance to join the Maverick Society membership at the current rate. And this membership is designed specifically for female entrepreneurs who dream of of building and or scaling a successful online business based on their personal brand, regardless of niche. Imagine having a step-by-step plan for success, complete with personal growth and business planning sessions every quarter, because in our world, it's not just about strategy, although that is a very important and focused upon piece. It's about creating a really compelling personal brand that really truly connects with your audience. In our private Facebook group, on our weekly group coaching calls, on our monthly mocktail, cocktail, celebration, happy hour, you can connect with other like-minded women who are building their brands and businesses online. You get to ask questions, share insights, and make really valuable connections that are going to propel you forward on your journey. Truly, having four group coaching calls each month via Zoom is an unparalleled value for the amount of the investment in the membership. It's personalized coaching by me, hot seat coaching tailored to address all of your questions. You can even choose to just be an observer as some people choose to do and learn from hearing others be coached in their brands. And if you can't attend live, that's not a problem. You can submit your questions in advance and catch the replay. There's so many benefits. I can't even go over them all or we'll be here all day and we won't get to talk about our actual content, but there's even more benefits as you get to access all of my programs, courses, resources, and even live programs and masterclasses throughout your membership, which is insane. Anything you would need to know to build your 
your six figure personal brand, you have access to from the accountability to the support to the resources to the tools to the inspo, it's all there for you. It is important to note that this opportunity requires a 12 month commitment, but it's worth it. And here's why firstly, long term brand development, building an impactful, sustainable brand takes time. And by committing to 12 months, you can authentically evolve your brand, align it with your vision and build the things that you need to have in place, whether it be your website or offers or your mindset or your launch strategy or your business plan for the year, all the things, having all of those things in place takes time. Second reason for the 12 month commitment, accountability. We have quarterly personal growth and business planning sessions that are going to keep you on track. It's going to help you develop those CEO habits and a commitment for a year ensures that you are staying focused and motivated in building your brand. Thirdly, the support through implementation. Ideas are powerful. Learning from courses are powerful, but the execution is so key. And over 12 months, you'll not only come up with great ideas, but you're going to receive the support needed to bring them to life and the encouragement to keep going and pushing through. Next, community building. Success really does thrive on connections, especially as a solopreneur. It gets lonely out there. Trust me, I know. And having a group of women for an entire year in a group where you can connect with other female entrepreneurs and build lasting connections and relationships is invaluable. And then lastly, the reason for the 12 month commitment, entrepreneurship has its ups and downs with the full year commitment. You're going to be able to walk through this with myself and with a group of your peers and gain the resilience and the tools that you need to overcome challenges and continue to thrive. And so, so I can't think of a better time than a new year to go ahead and invest in your business growth and your personal growth by joining the Maverick society. Not only do you lock in the current investment before rates raise in the new year, but you get that full year of transformation as you build your message-driven, sustainable online business through your personal brand for all of 2024. So I'm going to leave a link in the show notes as well, but you can go to elevatedwithashley.com forward slash maverick and go ahead and secure your spot if it feels aligned to you. I definitely hope to see you on the inside. And as always, if you have questions about the membership, you can always shoot an email, hello at elevatedwithashley.com with Ashley.com or a DM over on Instagram or Facebook, Ashley R. Latimer. All right, so why choose a word of the year? You might be wondering, why the heck should I select a word of the year? Is this in place of New Year's resolutions? Is this alongside of it? And there's no real right or wrong. Personally, I'm a big goal setter when it comes to my business. I don't set New Year's resolutions anymore. For me, word of the year has totally replaced that, and I'm gonna tell you why. Choosing a word of the year gives you focus, clarity, and a guiding force or anchor, as I like to call it, for your personal and professional life. And it gives you a reminder of your intentions and it helps you to align all of your actions with any goals that you do set, whether they be personal, whether they be professional, whether they be fitness. This is a word that you can constantly come back to as a check as to whether or not your actions that you're taking or that you're considering taking are really in alignment with the intentions that you have for your life, for your business, for your goals. So now that we understand a little bit of the significance, how to choose the right word. It's obviously a very personal journey, but I do want to provide you a little bit of guidance. So some things to think about, reflect on your goals that you have. So you can think about your overall goals in your whole life and do this holistically, or you can think about one specific area. If you're listening, you're a female entrepreneur more than likely, or a friend of mine, shout out to you guys. Love you too. Uh, But consider reflecting on your goals in that area, your aspirations and where you really want growth. So at this time next year, where do you want to be? Are there any common threads in those goals, in those aspirations, those areas that you would really like to see growth and change? What are the through line? And that word that you pick should really resonate for that vision for the year ahead, that through line that you want to carry with you, no matter what the goal is. So I'm going to give you the words of the year that I've selected since 2018, when I first started doing this, just to give you some examples. And it's 
kind of funny because some years I've selected the word. So when I first started, I really selected my word. So back in 2018, I chose the word connect. And then in 2019, I chose the word reflect. And then as has happened for the last several years, some of the years starting in 2020 ended up being what I consider more of a download. I almost feel like the word was given to me, which I know sounds a little bit like, ooh, but I really do believe that, you know, God speaks to us. And this particular word in 2020 was cleanse. And that is not a word that I think is like a cool, sexy word or anything that I would have chosen for myself. But I received this word going into 2020. And my friend sent me a necklace with the word cleanse on it. I literally had no idea what that was going to entail. I looked up all the technical definitions. I looked up the biblical definition and how that word was used. It's like, oh, God gosh, this could be really interesting. And without sharing TMI, it ended up being totally prophetic for what happened throughout the year. And I I don't even know what to think about that one. I just think sometimes, wow, that word of the year was kind of a doozy, but it was a year of cleansing a lot of things and toxic things that were in my life within my own self. And then also in, you know, in my external world too. And so sometimes you're going to select the word and sometimes it's just going to slap you across the face and be kind of weird. And then you get to, you know, have fun and see what happens. 2021, I chose the word trust. I was going through divorce in 2021 and starting a new life and figuring out being a single mom and running my business, moving a couple of times. It was just wild. And so trust was my word and that just felt really appropriate. So I did select that one. And no matter what was happening, I went back to that word trust. This is all going to work out. There's better to come. This is not the end. This is new beginning. Trust, 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 trust. God has your back. You have friends and family. Trust in the support that you have. And so that was 2021. And then 2022, I chose the word priorities. I learned a lot over the previous couple of years. And I decided in 2022 that I was not going to let anything or anyone knock me off of my top three priorities. And so this was the year where I started purchasing. If you've seen, I have, uh, I always wear this one gold bracelet with a little plate on it. And it's always my word of the year. And so I started wearing that bracelet priorities so that every single time I looked at my wrist, which is all the time since I'm on my computer or my phone, all, not all day, but every day, every week, that really reminded me that if it wasn't something that was going to help me be a better mom, a better human being, or grow my business, then it was going to be a no. And so I wanted to make sure that I kept up with my priorities and said no to things that were not going to align with that, whether it be a person or an opportunity, whatever it was. So that was a fun little word of the year if you're looking for some info. 2023, my word was intentional. And again, I chose that word. And so up until 2020, I had chosen my words. And then up through this year, I had chosen my words. And so I just, oh, I didn't tell you 2023. My word was intentional. And that word was great. It really fit with all of the goals that I had, how I wanted to show up in the world, how I wanted to show up in my friendships and my relationships relationships in my business, the word was intentional. And that was a great anchor. And now I want to let you in on my word of the year for 2024, because it's a hybrid. I feel like it was a download. And then I also inadvertently chose it. So this is just going to give you another way that you may receive your word of the year. And honestly, I love this word so much. And I wasn't going to record a podcast episode on word of the year until I realized, no, I have to go ahead and do it because it was getting to the end of this month. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's almost the new year. Like I don't have my word. But then once I got this particular word, I want to share it with you because if you don't have a word of the year yet, I want you to try this one on for size if it feels aligned and if it speaks to you, because obviously that's a really important part of choosing a word of the year. It's a personal journey. But if this, if this fits for you, I feel like there's someone who's going to listen to this and you're going to be like, yep, that's my word too. So if that's you, you're going to have to let me know. You're going to have to DM me or something something and let know that you chose this. I also want to know what your word is in general. If you chose it, I keep getting texts and emails and DMs with people sharing their words and asking if I've, you know, figured out mine yet. And so my word of the year for 2024 is cultivate. And the funny thing about the word cultivate is I was throwing this little hissy fit about not knowing my word of the year was, and I can't believe this. And how can I, you know, go into a new year without my precious word of the year? And then as I was in my membership, delivering our 2024 
our annual intentional personal growth and profit planning workshop, of which I had already completed my own planning workbook for the overall year and for the quarter, I realized I had written down that word as I was literally teaching. I had written down that word multiple times in my planner. And so I shared with my members in vivo as we're going through that, that my word of the year was cultivate because I had written that down in different areas of my personal growth and profit planning. So the word cultivate has several different meanings, but they're all related. And the interpretation of the word really depends on the context. But even the definition of a farmer cultivating soil to plant and grow crops, I can think of that in so many areas as a metaphor for what I want to do. Cultivating that the soil of my business foundation and my relationship, the soil of, you know, my relationship with my daughter and being her mother and my client relationships, all the things. So here's a few other definitions. Cultivate, to nurture and help grow motherhood, relationships, clients, like all these things come to mind. To promote or encourage a sentiment, a feeling, or a relationship, like a sense of community. These things that I really want to focus on. My big focus this year is my membership and really honoring the investment and the commitment of my members and making sure that I am showing up for them, giving them what they need to grow and really cultivating that sense of community. Another definition of cultivate, to foster the growth of, to improve or develop a quality, interest, or skill. So in yourself or in others, this is just, oh, it's just such a good word. I feel like it's a vibe. It is the 2024 word for me. And it so encapsulates my mission, my vision, the essence of what I'm aiming to do in order to achieve my goals in pretty much all the areas. And it symbolizes to me my commitment to nurturing, developing, and fostering positive aspects in all those different areas of my life. And I just love it. So anyway, I think it's a pretty solid word. And so I wanted to share it with you. Feel free to adopt it for your word of 2024 if it feels personally significant to you as well. I think no matter what, whether you choose cultivate, whether you choose one of any millions of words, it can really serve you as a powerful reminder and guide you throughout your journey to have that anchor word. I'm actually going to leave for you a link to the bracelet that I order every year and get engraved. It's really nice. It's really nice quality. And so it's beautiful to wear, but it's also just a powerful reminder. And I know that my clients who have them and my own mother, shout out to my mom. She is amazing. She chooses the word of the year and has her bracelet. And I just hope that it really, really helps you to anchor in and lean into the intention that you have for your life and your business in 2024. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Maverick Mompreneur podcast. I really hope that the insights that I shared today inspire you to choose an amazing word of the year. I can't wait to hear what yours is. And until the next episode and the new year, cheers to your impact and have a wonderful safe new year. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a ton of value. And if you did, I would really appreciate if you would rate, subscribe, and review this podcast. It really helps to push out the message that I have to share with other female entrepreneurs. Thank you so much. Cheers to your impact.